Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. So today I've got a few more things I'd like to do, like get some power increase in terms of Tech Reborn and also um, have a look at Taco Craft. So let's get started. So first for Taco Craft, I'm going to make a brick furnace, which is basically four uh, cobblestone for brick like that and then you get a brick furnace and then the next thing that they have on here is this commel so the commel is the thing you cook your wheat on so what you have to do with this it's dead easy actually but it did take a little bit of time to figure it out i need some space so i also got a brew stand here because i've been um brewing away let's just let's just put it out here somewhere like that. i'm not going to use it very often i will be honest with you so we put this down here and then we need some fuel for it of course and we also put this commel on top of it like this i think you have to shift click it on there so what you do with this is then you go and get some dough from wrong place here so we could take six of the these corn from taco craft and we also want some fuel, so we probably don't need very much in terms of fuel. Maybe one or two pieces of coal. I'm not short of coal at the moment. As you can see, you've got blocks, blocks of it, um, ten stacks or thereabouts. So we can quite happily use this. So what we do is put some coal in here like this, and I think it burns all the time. So you just have to use what what you want. So first of all, we'll make up the the dough like this, tortillas, and then we put these tortillas on into here I think I think the oven's got to be hot first so let's just put some coal into that oops wrong try again <laughs> put this some onto that and then this gets hot and when it gets hot like that smokes you can then put these on and then they'll cook and they'll change their shape a little bit when they're cooked I think doesn't take very long just trying to right click it so when it actually does cook there you go it's got a brown one you right click it with another dough and you get that in here we've still got plenty of furnace left so that's fine and we just wait a little bit longer we should do the third one easily there we go so now we've got two of these now we have a look at the use of tortillas we can see that we can make a al pasto tortilla which is carbohydrates and protein with an apple some cooked pork chops and a tortilla what else have we got here carbohydrates and protein again this one is cheesy taco carbohydrates proteins and fat so that's a good one so milk steak and a tortilla and we should have that so let's just take this off here like this could have made more of course so let's see what we've got in our in here we probably haven't got much in the way of food at the moment i don't i've been using the steaks to make crunchy tortillas um what's all what have we got here maybe cooked chicken we can use this as a chicken one milk i've got definitely what was the cheesy one again yes it's a steak one. Oh, we can do chicken tacos so we can craft a couple of that one up here like that so that's got carbohydrates and protein and reasonable amount as well so i'll look at now at my few food here you see actually fruit is what i need fruit and fats so we need to get some fruit and fats um but for the time being we can actually eat this let's just put this up here you'll see oh we've got some night vision goggles very handy got those from a mimic i haven't done mimics um let's put this into here because we do need some protein otherwise we're going to be getting bad effects actually we need fruit as much as anything else so let's just what did i want to put away i want to put this bread away um probably the wrong chest actually let's just do it in this middle one it's night time we're going to have a quick sleep got some blueberries here that's no problem whatsoever this one yeah soybeans are <laughs> actually oddly enough are really good ones to do oh no we've got another visitor so i'll take this away here like this we need some water excuse me a second i've just got to deal with this guy and have a sleep and i'll be back in a minute well i made them I made some more food i made some more tofu so that's now in the thing so here we are i would have liked to look at this first of all we've made these bits before the energy crystals the recipe for those just in case you can't remember is basically two of these synthetic um redstone crystals which you can then use for, which the recipe for those was just that basically a stack of that plus two diamonds gives you this energy crystal we need four of those so it's a fair amount of energy crystal basic machine frame gold insulated gives an mfe and that's the next level up i want to put this um 
next one small step for man yes exactly i want to put this away in one of these chests i think this one at the top will do yes i've got some of the bits in here that i'm using for that i actually got all 55 seeds in here you've got 54 seeds that's basically nine times six 54 and the last seed is here the only one that was hard to get was the one from the desert this one sanguino seed what i did is i took some dirt uh turned it into f uh, grass actually, i actually took it some grass actually i think i did and then basically um used uh oh, what did i use on it bone meal bone meal did up a bit and then i actually got one of these seeds so that was one of these plants so i got the seed that was how i did that next one well hard work here this we've got hydrogen and carbon i'm going to do this now hydrogen and carbon if you if we put those together in the chemical reactor will make methane one of the recipes many recipes for methane let's just do this like this because this is going to take a while to do i think it's quite slow and it uses a reasonable amount of power 100 seconds it takes to do this now what the reason i'm doing that is because i would like to make a gas react a gas turbine so the gas turbine is this thing here so it's basically four aluminium plates so there's actually two recipes for this we can use the aluminium one or we can use the invar plate well you're actually getting quite a lot of this the wind turbines we've already made before the, the recipe for those is two of these manilium plates plus a generator these ones are basically this magnesium dust which i have uh the recipe for that i've been mo probably mostly be getting from the scrap box but the industrial electrolyzer i haven't done this yet with some pyro dust and empty cells will give you that um industrial centrifuge with marble dust will also give it to you but the one i've been using is the one from there so we can take this gas turbine like this and add this to our power system i also made a medium tier tank here an advanced tank <laughs> 200 k of lava it took a long time to fill up with that i must say so we'll put this one down here the gas turbine and then what we could put into here is we can put in different fuels um so what the one i'm going to do obviously is the one from here but as you can see this takes quite a long time to make it up we could put hydrogen cell if you look at the uses of this you can put that into the gas turbine and hydrogen cells will give us what 1500 energy if i look at the use of this a lot of things really if we use methane here you get 4500 so we get a lot more and it's actually not that is that where is it finished yet good we get five methane for one uh of those so it's get quite a lot so we put that into there and this should start to make plenty of that's already filled it up great but then we get our em empty cells back again which is pretty handy so that gives us one million of those right now let's go and put down this mfe i'm going to replace this one here i think the battery box will replace that um i will actually make sure i use the wrench just in case and i don't think there's anything in it let's have a quick look oh yes there's a jetpack in there but i'll take that out hasn't i so let's just um pick this up and then put down the mfe and i think the mfe <laughs> goes like that now he says you'll see this is charging up uh, reasonably quickly and put this back on our backs here there is a trick on this and i haven't done this before and i think we can use this as a storage so what i'll do between episodes is set this up because this here is a face and on this face is an output i think we can use this as an output so what i'd like to do is i'd like to connect the power up here and then output it so we can use the um the solar panels the, yeah ultimate solar panels to do this i have made one more thing as well between episodes i haven't shown you this it's very straightforward as it happens the greenhouse control so the greenhouse controller and i've put beside that an ultimate power cell or solar panel let's have a look at the recipe for the greenhouse controller if i can see it that is i think that's the one yes it is so basically it's two iron hose no big deal refining it's no big deal advanced machine frames no big deal we've done this already the diamond saw is basically we get four 
for uh, the price of four diamonds and four steel ingots. Um, the uses of those, by the way, you can also use in the sawmill. So you, with your four, you can make this plus these will give you a sawmill as well. Sawmill is quite expensive. I was expecting to get a better return from this one. If you look at the uses of it, you would, with some water, one log, you're getting some dust and some paper. I was hoping to get more wood planks. Well, for the time, we will leave it like that. What this does, I've configured the sides so all of these faces here are output to the right like this so it it will also do as you can see what we've got in here we've got onions and tomatoes wheat lots of seeds and some nether wool because I've put nether wool down here I wasn't sure whether or not it would work and everything but it seems to be here we can put a light and this particular setup with this can just about cope with one light <laughs> and that's it right it's night time I'll be back in a second so the last thing I would like to do today, <laughs> maybe brew some spells, is this. Here we have how to make mercury. So mercury basically is either 32 redstone plus 13 empty cells. So if we have a look for the recipe for rest mercury, we can do it here in the industrial centrifuge. So 32 redstone plus 13 empty cells will give three silicon, 10 mercury, three ruby dust, and 16 pyrate dust which is really quite a good return so the uses of this well, well actually now let's go back before we finish that one the next way to do it is to fluid replicate with UV matter we're not ready for that yet and this way here is cinnabar plus an empty cell now cinnabar i've been getting from scrap boxes but the the way to do it normally would be in the grinder using cinnabar or from the, the nether so we're going to do that next time i think and same thing here pulverizing it so with those things in in mind what we can then do is um basically make mercury so let's go back to this again <laughs> keep going back so with the mercury cells like this let's press escape actually we get 10 so we need some of these mercury cells because what i want to do is an iridium ore plus a mercury cell will give us some platinum dust dust so let's just try that in fact let's just take this one as well like that and the use of these, of course, is always in the in, is in the industrial grinder here. So we can put the, um, we don't need one mercury cell, don't we? So put one mercury cell in here like that, fills it up with one, and then we can put iridium ore. Now, I want to discuss iridium ore a little bit more, because it's really hard to see. And you get from this one platinum plus one iridium ingot. Um, and the use of iridium ingots will basically it's one of these high tier things that we need and but it's very very rare we discussed this before didn't we so we can compress it to plates uh, and these are the plates we can then make these uh, iridium alloy ingots which are also pretty expensive so four advanced alloy plus four iridium plates plus a diamond will make one iridium alloy well and the uses of that then you can know, you compress it no you have to explode implosion compress it to give an iridium alloy plate and the uses of that is to make these things so a dragon egg energy siphon oh that could be interesting maybe i'll we'll, we'll go with that so definitely n type stuff so i've got another achievement for doing that so it's tough stuff this this business here uh, let's go and have a look at iridium ore. i've got four i actually found four when i was i was caving a bit and i found four really hard to see so what where are they here three let's just put one down like that oop not a toast not a torch try again <laughs> you'll see that they almost look like stone if we take a piece of stone out of here for example or maybe have some stone in here yeah one stone and you compare that to this let's put that up there of course and put it down here like that you'll see it's really very hard to see especially in caves so that's where the uh, night vision goggles come into handy and these night vision goggles by the way come from a mimic and maybe we'll do that in the last as the last thing here so we can then simply break these with a whatever well, tool we want let's do that that'll give me a couple of stone never mind so we'll put a couple of stone back in here now and we'll put the iridium ore back in here like that so we'll use that some other time the mercury i'll put down in here like this i think i've got some i haven't got any around these are the types of things we've been getting empty cells 
put those up there. And we've got 11. And the platinum dust. The uses of that basically make you can you have to use that in the blast furnace, and you will get a, a reasonable amount of. Well, you get one ingot. You don't not the blast furnace. Just a furnace will do for that. So you can put it into here. I don't think it's got any uses other than put it into here. Oh yes, we can turn it into iridium nuggets, which is probably a bit on the expensive side, because we will actually need platinum ingots. So we'll put that into the electric furnace and let it cook through. So next thing on my list is to do this. Wrong one. So here we've made this crystal. Here we've got some lazarite plates. Dead easy. This is just a byproduct of um, silk touching lapis lazuli ore. And then the recipe for those, by the way, is this lazarite dust. And the recipe for that is either from scrap boxes, one way to get it, the industrial grinder. So with some water and then some lapis lazuli ore, you get 12 lapis lazuli plus three of these. So you get quite a lot at the end of the day. You can also spin this, and which is probably even better actually, if you're looking just for this, from lapis lazuli, because you get four. So we can make one of these crystals. These industrial circuits, was basically a platinum plate plus an advanced circuit that's why i needed the platinum so it's sort of quite expensive these to start with anyway so let's just put that one in there and what you do with this one is you put it in here like that and you get a nano saber and the nano saber is also an achievement and it's a reward now why did i put my book hold on a second probably in my backpack Yes, so we can actually claim a reward. And the reason for building, doing things in this order is we can then put this into here. So it's one million, so it should charge up a little bit faster than the other one. Um, mining level three, and but this thing's got a 20 attack damage. And it should charge up a bit faster than the other ones. I think it is doing. It's hard to say, to be dead honest with you. I just put the battery box down and see what, how it charges up. But this contains 300,000 uh, energy anyway, so that's a lot better. So that's all doing. That's all. That's what it's all been about, really, is to make this nano saber. So that's we're going to get the, the quest book. Sorry, get the quest book out here. Let's click and have a look. We've got one quest completed. Click here to open the quest, the Tech Reborn quest. Open it, and as you can see, we've got the Sabers Yamati. So, the Sabers Yamati, we get 16 Carni Tacos and a top tip top hat. So, we can claim the reward for that. Um, the hat is just a hat. I wouldn't. You put it in this, this hat slot here. It doesn't have any powers. I'll try that again. I think you put it in this one. I'm going to put it in the whoopee cushion one. Okay. <laughs> I think put this one back in here. So let's have a look at ourselves with this <laughs> tip top hat. Oops. Tip top hat in it. It looks a bit daft actually because I've got two hats on top of each other. <laughs> no much use. So I'm going to put the whoopee cushion back in again because that's much more fun than that. Oops. Try that again. That's much more fun than that top hat. <laughs> right. Well. Look what I have. We've got some visitors, which is probably just about the right time. But I have a slight problem. Um, this is still charging up, by the way. So I'm going to have a quick look at this. If I can get past my obstacles. It's 600. That would probably be sufficient for now. We can also enchant it. So I would like to enchant it before we do anything else, as it happens. But maybe I have to kill these grand, grand these things, guys off first. But let's have a look at this. You'll notice that my fruit's zero. And then you'll also notice I've got weakness and a malnourished mining fatigue, which basically means that you can't attack very effectively. So what we do to sort that out, let's come out of the way a little bit over here. And I have broken down my tower. So I'm just going to build up my tower again. And I think I need it about 16 blocks. So we just... That'll do. So go at the top of this. And then we jump down. <laughs> before, I'll, before I jump down, I'm going to make sure I've got the right food in my thing here like this. Oh, they're going away. Phew, that's all right. It means I don't need to worry about it. But I need, do need to do something about my food. So I'll just take my armor off to start with. Before we jump down, we don't need to damage it any more than it is already. Um, and I think that's probably about right. We want the cooler here. Let's have a look what we've got in the cooler. 
nothing at the moment. Let's put some strawberries in it and just jump down. I could go a couple more blocks, couldn't I? Let's just do that. So I'll be back in a minute when I've regenerated myself a little bit more. In fact, before we do that, let's have a quick look how we're doing now for fruit. So fruit's going but is up a bit. Fats are a bit low. We're still marished, malnourished in the f mining fatigue, so I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, my food's back to reasonable levels now. I've got some protein and I've got some fats from the... Um, I'm now eating tofu. So let's take this out of here, the nano saber, because we can enchant it. That's really good that you can enchant this stuff, actually. Huh? I've got 30 levels of... A of XP now let's just enchant it and see if we get Bane of Anthropods 4 I am not that's all we got <laughs> brilliant shame never mind I also want to enchant this bow what do we need power 4 well we'll go and get a power 4 how many do we need now just 3 more levels I can get that from here you'll notice that those guys have disappeared for the time being they're just over here can't see them I think there's one round about here. So any second now, we'll have 30 levels again. We can turn that off. Yeah, don't. It's alright because that's full. So when I run over it, it doesn't matter very much. So let's enchant this bow. Power, of, power four punch two. Pretty good. Doesn't look glowing. That's strange. <laughs> I normally they glow. <laughs> Why this one isn't? I don't know. So we can test it out. So let's go and activate the saber. We'll, let's put it in here, the first slot. Like this. I think that's what we will do. We've got our protection here. A very poor shield. Let's just go and see how we can do with these guys. Number two. Actually, I should... Oh, I'll tell you, I've done something wrong here. Let's just press escape. Let's move that out of the way. We don't need that in our, our hand at all. What, what I'd like to do is swap those two over. Then press one. Who missed him? Not good. Now that one's gone. That one's missed him too. So two shot weapon. Not bad. That's how we do with the saber now. Let's activate it. Probably shift right click. Yep. There'll be some more of these guys back here. Oh yeah, two of them look. Okay, how much damage did I take? A little bit, not too much. Where are the others? I think there should be another one. Where's the, the flag bearer? Yeah, and I don't see him. God, he's gone. So that's a fairly effective weapon. In fact, let's go down now and have a find a mimic. There is a mimic over here. It's night time, I'll be back in a second when it's daytime. And I'll go and find the mimic at the same time. Well, you can see on the minimap, the mimic is over here. So I can get to him. In fact, we might have an advantage here because he's down low and we're up high. So with a bit of luck, let's just try it with the bow. That'll be the mimic here. And he gets aggressive, which is no big deal. Let's, let's to make sure we've got this in our hand. Now he's stuck. Oh, great. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. <laughs> now I have got... What did I get from him this time? I got... Oh, I've got another pair of night vision goggles. You see, I've got night vision goggles on, and and probably the best thing to do is actually leave the night vision goggles on, because in this area here, I'll pick up my my lost arrows. <laughs> you get all sorts of bits and pieces. So we get some enchanted frostwater books, quick charge, power four, brilliant. So we can put the power four on the bow straight away, and that would give us another one of those. And the rest we can just take up. In fact, we might as well just take the thing with a break it. We get there's another furnace here. Nothing in the furnace with a flower pot on top of it. There's some zombies over here. Now, as you can see with the night vision goggles, it's a lot easier to see all sorts of minerals, which you would not normally be able to see. In fact, there's actually um, a mine over there. Let's just go and get this stuff because I'm less worried about guys now so let's have a look over here what have we got in here oh lots of gold and golden apples here comes a zombie let's give him a let's test it on this if i'm actually any decent with it 
yeah one hit on him that's no bad not bad we get the cartographer's table and a crafting table how much of space have i got in here none <laughs> let's just get my backpack open i've lost um a shulker box there somewhere uh i've been i was exploring like i am now and i put it down and i don't know where i put it <laughs> goodness gracious me so let's just pick up these and let's no let's open up the thing first of all let's put everything in here that we don't want with us at the moment rotting flesh actually probably could keep that the mid deep mod learning by the way is actually making some progress if I put this superstitious hat back on again, I'll get better rewards from killing the mobs. But I'm really not after mobs at the moment. So let's pick up everything in here. If we can, that is. <laughs> Which looks like we can't. Let's just... Now these are actually not too bad. The golden chest plate. If you look for the uses of the golden chest plate, and you put this into the blast furnace with a piece of sand, you will actually get all the gold back again, plus the dark ashes. So that's actually a nice, a nice return. We've got some glistering. Well, that's good. We can use that in one of our brews. Okay, that's all cleared out. Let's just go and get the furnace and the thing over here, and maybe the lantern. I'm not sure I need the lantern to be done with me, but. So we got all of those bits and pieces. We should now have two. I don't see them. Did they not? Did they not break the plants? Maybe it's not appropriate tool. And there's another chest. There's a couple of chests over here. What I'm hoping to see is some a oh, diamond ore over there. Look. In fact, what I've been doing with the diamond ore. I don't see any mobs around here except for that guy. Oops, I haven't said that. <laughs> I'd be to go over here. Get my sword out. That would be a sensible move, wouldn't it? Right, one here. Yeah. Okay, there's a few mobs around here. But they're not such a problem, <laughs> as you can see. So I said I saw some diamond or didn't I? And there's another skeleton with that, but we'll ignore that for the time being. Spiders. Won't, won't bother me either. So let's just let's just float over here if we can get across. Looks like we can. See what I'm hoping to do is to see some um iridium ore, because you can see then how difficult it is to see. So I'd still the one pick oh, I've lost almost too much stuff again. Let's just get the backpack open again. Rotting flesh, bones, chests, diamonds. Let's put everything we can up there. We'll keep the we we'll keep the arrows with us. Torches we'll keep as well. That'll do. So I I'd like to use the silk touch pick on this one. Maybe this is where I'm going to put the mending on it. Because definitely the diamond ore through the it's all it's spread out all over the place, isn't it? This looks like one of these funny little areas where you'll find lots of little single blocks. Let's just go down here and collect up some more of this. You'll see I'm using. You see, there's nothing else, just one block by itself. But there's a good seven blocks here, so let's get the seven blocks of diamonds. And I am putting these through the industrial grinder because one of the byproducts of that is. Um, is diamond dust. Is that all of the diamond dust now? It is. Right. I shall see you in a short while if I find anything else interesting down here. Well, it looks like a little bit more of an exciting area. Especially with these skeletons. Can see everybody <laughs> it's funny it's hard to see the when they're underneath here like that there's a, there's a spawner here let's get back to this one i should be all right health wise um i'm not sure there's two spawners here that's where the problem is let's just put some torches down on those guys and that was another let's run a bit i think that's a mimic i'm being chased by a mimic so let's go back here get my sword out So, well, look, 
what did we get from the mimic this time another superstitious hat is it no maybe not let's have a look probably might be sitting down below let's have a look get out there i've not got much space left have i <laughs> we could put some bits and pieces in there oh obsidian skull i think is what i got temporarily immune from fire damage when hurt by fire that must be it from artifacts exactly so i don't think i put down enough torches let's go back over here some more mobs over here let's just <laughs> well you're not too much of a worry oh another spawner let's just go along here put this torch on the spawner should do I didn't really come to do any fighting today but it looks like I've ended up doing some that I can't take yet so we'll with some more chests over here look so they're generally good areas these things again the same sort of stuff a smithing table oh it's got it's uh, torch on it so there's another spider somewhere oh, that's i saw you now i'm not using my torch i'm using the omni tool which is just as good right I think that's probably most of the excitement done. Ah, oh, here we go. There's the Iridium ore, look at that. Oh, that's antimony ore, but it's very similar as it happens. There must be a dark patch here. Let's just put down F7. Oh, there's a few mobs over here too. <laughs> I need to get them. Try again. Third time lucky, I hope. They must have spawned in the in the meantime. I think I've been in this chest, haven't I? Oh, there must be another spawner up here. Something like that, because these guys keep dropping down. Tell you what, there's not much use for Antimia or but it's as it happens. Oh yes, there you go. Let's put the jetpack on. As you can see, my stuff is getting a little bit damaged. And I think I've got hover mode on. If I'm not, it's half good. So let's put down a torch here. That should light up enough of the area for that to stop spawning stuff. It's quite a hard area, this one, isn't it? <laughs> right. That's it for a few seconds. See you in a while. Well, I'm back at base. From that little excursion, I actually got uh, nine diamond ore plus two diamonds. Some books got knocked back to power four, a frost walker two, and quick charge one. So pretty good books as it happens. Let's just go and put those away a second. Um, they go in here. I'm going to actually use these two now. We can put that onto the bow here. It's got power power four, so that'll get a power five. I'm going to put the other one onto the armor, and I think we've got plenty um, onto the sword. I mean, the nano sword. I've got two of these here. So we can put this is the knockback, too. We'll put that on the nano saber. Doesn't it? Oh, wrong way around. <laughs> it doesn't help. So that costs two. And then this one we can put in here with the power four. So we get a power five punch two bow, which is pretty decent. Maybe I put mending or infinity on that. I think probably mending if I get a, I've got a book already because it's very handy to have a, a good a good weapon. Um, and I got some more books and paper in here and the diamonds. Okay, let's deal with the diamonds. Mercury. We have got some mercury because we got ten from the last time we did some processing of that. Let's go and shove those into the centrifuge here. Push the mercury and push the diamond ore in and it'll just start to process so for each one of these we get two so we'll get 18 diamonds take those out of there we'll get 18 diamonds and three of these each so we'll get um 27 small piles of dust so we divide that by four we're going to get six dust i think when this finishes right so here we have our diamonds let's just convert those down those small diamond dust into diamonds dust like that's so we get six of those and then we get so basically we've got a reasonable good amount so i'll put the diamond dust into here 
it's where it belongs and I put the diamonds up here like that uh, I'm not sure I'm going to put this this thing melon. I think I'll treat that as food. It's not really food. It's food for horses, but not really food for anything else. It also makes a potion of healing. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. It's actually been quite a lot of fun to make and get to the, to this point where we can actually make the nana saber. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>